welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Stephen, and today I'm going to do a walk around video presentation for you of this fantastic 2011 Mitsubishi Triton GLR. As you can see in the charcoal grey, really, really nice colour here. Straight away, you notice the nudge bar at the front of the car, really nicely styled. We do have our mounting points to put some driving lights on there, or a light bar, whichever tickles your fancy. And then looking at our nicely styled headlights here, we also have a space where if you'd like to spend a bit of money, you can get your fog lamps in the, in the uh, front there. Now part of the video today, we're gonna go through the condition of the car inside and out. And so we point out any marks and as I have a look across the paintwork on the bonnet here, not too bad overall, a little bit of stone, uh, minor stone chips on there. Uh, and then the same for the front bar, overall not bad. Coming around to the driver's side now, looking at our guard, we've got a minor little rub mark there, and I think we've got just a little mark on the guard there. We do have our nicely styled indicators in the guard. Really good for the safety side of things, and coming down, having a look at the alloy wheels there, looking in very good condition. And looking at our tyres here, fantastic tread on them. Certainly gonna get, get you plenty of miles out of those tyres. Coming further back, having a look at the side of the car here, we do have our very nice big side mirror there. Really good for seeing behind you. A couple of minor marks on the doors here that have been touched up. A couple more up the top there. And then you can see here there's a bit been a scratch there that's been touched up uh, as well. Being a work vehicle, you do expect some marks along the, the sort of cars there. We've got our nice side steps down the uh, side here. And then as we come along further to the back, You'll see we've got our nice ARB smooth finish colour coded canopy there with the ARB roof racks on there, so the tradie styled roof racks. Good for a uh, heavier load on these ones. We've got our, our lift up windows on the side of the car too, which I think one of them's locked. No. So you can see here, being able to lift up and open up <coughs> to the tub, both sides there and it has the internal bracing that you can see on the sides for that roof rack on top. Once again, looking at the rear tyre here, fantastic tread on our rear tyre, and the condition of the rim really well looked after there. The side of the tub is in fairly good condition, a little blemish just there, but overall really, really good condition. And as we come further around to the back now, we do have our nice big back window here, lifting that up with the gas struts on its own, opening up there to a very nice sized tub. It does look like the previous owner did try to uh, put something on the back to protect the back. A few minor dents along the top of the tailgate. Overall condition on the outside of the tailgate though, really good condition there. We do have our rear step and once again, our tow bar down the bottom there, which is really good. Two and a half ton towing capacity on here. And the other thing I forgot, didn't notice either, was our slimline number plates there. So really, really good there. Popping that down. As we come around to the passenger side now, having a look at the condition of the tub. Really, really good condition overall. A couple of minor marks just up the front here that I can see. Once again, the rear tire on the left hand side, fantastic there. Great condition on the rim. And then as we're coming down, having a look along the left hand side here, the overall condition isn't too bad for a work vehicle of this age. A couple of minor little marks on the door. The side steps are in great condition. And down to the same for the front guard here, nicely looked after. Once again, fantastic condition on the tyres there. And looking at our rim, overall condition, very, very good. Now as we pop back around to the front here, I'm gonna pop the bonnet here and go through and show you our four cylinder turbo diesel engine here, uh, 2.5 litre. As I pop there, so opening up, you can see Plenty of room underneath here, we've got our nice big battery there. Now this engine is going to produce us a whopping 100 kilowatts of power and 314 newton meters of torque. Now all this is coupled with the four speed automatic transmission, so nice and easy to drive, giving us an average fuel consumption of 8.6 liters uh, per 100 kilometers. So out of the 75 liter tank, we're looking at around 872 kilometers of driving. All right, now to the inside of our fantastic Triton here. Starting on the right hand side here, you'll notice we've got our window switches and our window lock button there. We also have our mirror controls as I turn the steering wheel just down on the dash here and our active stability control button there. 
We have 1K with this car. Coming up from there, we've got our indicator stalk with our headlights on the end. On the left hand stalk, we've got our front wipers there. Nice and easy to use with the intermediate adjustment on there. Now having a look at our steering wheel here, you can see we've got a little bit of wear on the steering wheel, which is normal for a car of this age. Looking on the right hand side, we've got our cruise control settings, which are really nice and easy to use there. And then from there, we'll come across to the center of the car here and have a look at our main uh, command unit here. You can certainly see we've got a CD player at the top. We've got our Bluetooth buttons on the side so we can power up our phone. Coming down, we've got the radio USB port at the bottom as well as our AUX there, which is really good. And from there we come down, we've got our heating and cooling controls. And as it's actually finally warmed up, we do have the air conditioning on to cool the car down. Coming down from there, we've got our little storage spot in the middle here. Down below, we've got a 12 volt lighter there, or you can use it as a socket if you don't need the lighter. Our four speed transmission here, popping it into reverse, nice and easy to use down you've got your second and your low so nice and easy to use there with a storage compartment in front and on the side from there we go to our handbrake lever with our two cup holders beside and then we've got our center console so we can pop the top open bit of a storage tray there and we've got a slot there we can stick cords down to if we need to and coming down into the bottom here plenty of storage and we have a 12 volt charge point at the front there so as i said you can Certainly plug your uh, phone and everything in there and sit it in the tray nicely out of the sun. Now as we have a look around the condition of the car inside, a few minor little marks that I can see just on the glove box there. Looking at the carpets they appear to be in really good condition. The seats are well looked after, no tears or anything in the seats. Um, as I have a look around as well in the back, the back looks to be in uh, very good condition there too. Now the other thing I'll touch on too with this vehicle is the service history for the car for you. Uh, once I bring it up here. So you can see here, we've got the uh, additional uh, service done straight away. So the person started off with an uh, intermediate service, 7,500. They've done the 15,000 kilometer service, did the 30, did the 45, the 60, the 75, all done through Mitsubishi. The 90,000 they've done through Kmart. Uh, looks like they've missed the 105 stamp. They've done the 120 through Knox, Mitsubishi, missed the 135, and we've done an intermediate service when we got the car at 144. So overall, service history is pretty good, only missing the two stamps, but at least you know you're not due to service the car when you pick it up. All right, so that was our walk around video presentation for you today of this fantastic Triton. As you can see, the overall condition's been fairly well looked after. Some things that really stand out to me making this a really good work vehicle is our roof rack on top, the lockable canopy there. Great fuel economy on this car and pretty good service history as well. So if you've got any more questions about the car, please give us a call here at Berwick Mitsubishi on 9907 555. And thank you for watching.